We just found an amazing camping spot that you won't find on any RV or camping app, but we did run into a couple of problems here. In our last episode, we left Mammoth Lakes, California and headed up north on 395 to camp near Lassen National Park, Hat Creek, and Bernie, California. Uh, Bob just sent me a text saying we're going to get eight inches of snow tomorrow. Eight inches of snow? Eight inches of snow. No way. <laughs> He's f***ing with you. Looks like that's it for the sun today. We're only making 20 watts or less, but our batteries are 51% full, so we're just gonna have to take it easy and not use a lot of power. Cold. Okay, so now it is hailing outside. Hey, we're making 5.30. Yes. We're making more than we're using for the first time in two days. We've got a little bit of sunshine. Yay. Yay. Just a little bit. Sun, sun, sun. Oh, yes. We're making it on 1,199 watts. All down to 870, 800, 900. We're making way more than we're using. And that is a good thing. Hopefully the sun stays out. For us the afternoon. Luckily, we are prepared if we hit some bad weather because we have 1280 watts of solar on the roof and six lithium batteries. I can't tell you how many rad people we have met on the road, including one that told us that he knew of some great dispersed camping in the National Forest outside of Old Station, California. But when I looked on the standard camping apps, there was nothing to be found, not one spot and not one review. So I jumped onto the National Forest website to look around and see what I could find. Up on 395 near Old Station, California, we found a great scenic overlook. It looks like there's plenty of camping around it. The National Forest maps aren't the easiest to read, but what you want to do is look for the dotted lines that show Forest Service roads, then go over to the map of your choice, switch to satellite view, zoom in, and take a look around. The scenic overlook was stunning. There were great views of Mount Shasta and Mount Lassen, and right away we found out that the people in this area are the nicest people we've ever met. Just down the road from the overlook, we found our dream spot. There wasn't another person around. The cell signal was killer, and it was totally free. We love it here. The Pacific Crest Trail is right there, and we see hikers go by almost every day. It's been great, but we did run into some really crazy high elevation weather. Living in an RV is completely different than living in a house when it comes to weather. I love it because you're in tune with the cycles of the moon and the temperature and the wind and the seasons, but you really have to look out for what's coming because in some places, like in higher elevations, the weather can be a lot different than it would be in a town just 10 miles away. The sun finally came up and the snow has melted and we're making power but as soon as it did, we got a visit from the ranger. <laughs> we'll tell you all about that and show you some more of our adventures and how we find our camping on our next episode. We'll see you guys next Sunday. Until then, everybody have happy travels and be free. <laughs>